Hello guys, this is part 2 of 4 in a row programming tutorial of C-Shop. Last time what we had is a board where we can put soldiers, red soldiers only, and it wouldn't really check if a player would win. Um, uh, and that is what we had last time. So, um, uh, if you haven't watched the first tutorial, watch it so you can catch up with us. Um, uh, now, what I'm going to do is obviously we know these two ifs happen when the player has given proper input to the board so what we're going to do is if this turn is one we change it to two and else we change it to one so now the turn will switch between the two players so now two players can play as you can see now the second things we want to check is to automatically check after putting a disc if a player has won and that is a bit complicated and for that we're going to create a method we have to create two methods first one is going to just help us some, uh, and we go it's going to return bull all numbers equal and it is going to receive uh, one number to check and param int numbers and what it is going to do is it is going to check if all the numbers in this array are equal to the check number so if it's not to check return false return true after we passed on everything and everything went valid so this is one first method now what we're going to do at the second method is it's going to return a private int winner player and if a player has won let's say for example the red player has won it's going to return one and it's going to return two if the if the other player has won so what we want to do is to send this method player to check so obviously after each player's turn it's going to check this player there's no reason to check if the green player has won after the red player has played because the green couldn't win if he hadn't won before in his turn you can only win after your turn that's the thing I'm trying to um, uh, explain so in here in four in a row games let's return minus one for now we have four options of winning one of them is having uh, a vertical column second is having a horizontal row and third is having this type of diagonal and the other one is having this type of diagonal so these are four ways of winning and we and in order to check if a player has won we have to check all these ways so let's start with the easiest one in a vertical vertical win check and we're going to put this in brackets so we can have visual understanding of what we're checking here and for this we're going to run for int row equals zero row is smaller than this board get length excuse me This board get length zero and now the trick we're going to do minus three and row plus plus now why we did one minus three here it's because if we're checking this we don't want to get to these parts because it's obvious no player is going to win if the first thing we're checking is this one we are only checking these 
and then we're going down and checking if those discs also have the same number of the player who just played so here we're going to do for int call equals zero call is going to run this board get length one call plus plus now what we want to do is check if all these variables let's say for example this is zero zero this is one zero this is two zero and this is three zero what we want to do is run on all of these and check if there are one or two and if there are one or two it means a player has won because it's on default it's zero and zero is empty according to our last tutorial so now we're going to write if this all numbers equal and we're going to pass the player to check and we're going to pass this board row call and we're also going to pass this board row plus one call and we're also going to pass this board plus two and last but not least this board row plus three call now that is going to return a boolean so if that we can return player to check now what we did here it's going to check let's say for example as we used our example here zero zero one zero two zero three zero so if they're all have the number of this and we're going from zero zero then we're adding one then we're adding two and then we're adding three and they all have um, the value of player to check parameter then it means the player we're checking has actually won the game so this is the vertical win check now let's go for the horizontal win check And we're going to write for int row equals zero. Row is smaller than this board get length zero. This time we're not putting minus three here. Row plus plus. Now we're putting minus three on the call array, on the call for loop. And that's because we're adding to the column this time because we're checking the one next to us horizontally so call is more than this board get length one minus three call plus plus now if this all numbers equal player to check and we're going to pass this board row call this board row call plus one this board row call plus two and this board row call plus three if that's true we're turning the player to check which has one with a horizontal win now we go to our next mission which is the diagonals which is a bit more difficult and complex so for this we're going to do a top left diagonal win check which is this type of diagonal which starts on the top left now for the diagonal let me let me actually copy that we're going to add a minus three in both because our highest value of checking it should be right here 
so we don't get an index out of range exception if we go for displays or for displays this is where we go through this is the area we are checking and we're doing the math to check if there's a diagonal here so what we do here is row call then we go row plus one call plus one row plus one call row plus two call plus two and row plus three call plus three we're just doing the math to get to the right cells in the multi-dimensional array now last we're doing the top right diagonal wind check which is this type of diagonal and that one is a bit tricky now why is it tricky because the column is not going to start from zero because if it starts from zero we're getting an index out of range exception because we're going this place the column is going to start here it's going to start from 0, 1, 2, 3 so column is going to be 3 in the initial value and let's copy that column is going to be 3 and it's going to run all over the board thing because we have no problem with it getting here and checking now the column the row is already handled with this minus 3 so now this one is a bit complex we go plus row minus call so row plus 1 call minus 1 row plus 2 call minus 2 and row plus 3 call minus 3 and that's it now we have the method to check if a player is won so what we want to do is let's have a winner and it's going to get this winner player of this turn because obviously the, t the one who just played has an option to win not the enemy player and if winner is not minus one which means there is a winning player it is going to show message box show Congratulations, player. And I have a nice idea here, guys. If you guys don't know how to make this thing, let's do a string player message box. And the string player is going to be winner. Winner equal equal one red. Wait, it's not blue. What this thing means is the same as writing that string player and then writing if winner is one player equal red, else player equal blue. So this is a nice method of doing things. And now we're going to, to put here player. So now it's going to say red or blue player. And it's actually not blue, it's green. Player has won. And after that we want to restart the application. So... That thing is just like writing if winner is one, player is red, else player is green. So let's test it now. And we're going to win intentionally with the red player. Congratulations, red player has won. Now let's win with another way. We'll try to win with the vertical method. Congratulations, red player has won. Now. Let's win with the green player. Green player has won. And let's try another method. Let's try some diagonals. Red player has won. And the second type of diagonal, let's put it. 
red player has won so as you can see it is checking it and doing it properly so now what we want to do is you may have noticed I've added this thing which is last turn and I want it to show what was the move of the last player so it is easier um, uh, for the players to see um, uh, what did the last player do and um, uh, this is extremely simple what we all we want to do is put here because first we need to check that the row and the column index are valid and we're going to put this and let me check we call this label last turn so this last turn text equals last turn and column index plus one because minimal column index is zero so now let's play this is going to be four there you go now you can easily see what did the last player do without having to ask him or something um, uh, this is for the tutorial for today um, uh, tell me guys if you want another tutorial and maybe how to do an artificial intelligence to play against the computer um, uh, this is quite quite complex I can do it it's quite um, uh, difficult though so just let me know um, uh, I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching. So please leave a comment and leave a like if it helped you. And subscribe for more content. Thank you very much for watching.